Welcome back. Let's work a little bit on styling. So I promised that we were going to do some inline styling and see what that's like. So let's try to do it. All right. So let's go into our things to do JS file and we're going to go into the return and we're going to go into this div and we're going to click on the div and we're going to say style equals and then we're going to do we have to do two sets of curly braces and then we have to say we're going to say um, let's just change the background so background color now uh, the, doing it this way we can't do it the usual way that you do it in CSS we have to do camel case so I, I, you know JS I guess since it's JSX and that's just the way they do it all right, so background color, and then I'm going to say it's going to be gray, and that should do it. So let's just hit save and see what happens. All right, so we got our background color. So you can add all kinds of different styles um, in, in, in line like this. There's a couple other ways to do it. Well, one of the ways we're going to do it is we're going to actually create a function with our style because we are going to try to make our style. We're going to try to do that line through for when our app is when we have clicked on an on one of our items to do our things to do. When one of them's clicked, like we did it, it's done. Then we want to have a cross out. We want to cross it out just like we would if it was paper and pencil. We're going to create an actual function and put our style inside of our function. All right, so I'm going to take away this inline styling and bring it all the way back to its normal div. And then I'm going to save so we can go back to no gray. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, so I'm going to create a function so I'm going to in my div again I'm going to say style is going to equal this dot my style so I'm going to be creating a function called my style okay and we're going to go up here and we're going to create this function. So let's go above the render. Um, and so here's what we're going to do. Um, let's see. We're going to say my style, since that's the name of our function, equals, we're going to put our parentheses, we're going to create an arrow function, then our curly braces. Okay, so let's do um, an if else. So if, because we want this to be, you know, if the um, to do is, if the thing to do is finished, we're going to put a text, we're going to put a line through it. So if, um, if this dot props dot list dot finished, so the properties, our list, are finished. Return. And then we're going to do, let's do text decorations. This is going to be the name of the style. Text, text, text decoration is going to be line through. All right, and we put that in quotes. Okay. Now we're going to do an else statement. So else return text decoration. And again, we have to do that um, camel case business. Did I say text? Oh my goodness gracious. Text decoration. Text decoration is going to be none. Okay. And then, um, so what we're going to do is we're not going to be able to see this if we save. 
because we don't have a way to show that we have finished our um, to do thing to do but we could go to the app js and we could see how it says finished false finished false finished false what if we said finished true it should work we have to save i don't know if i saved the other file but let's just just find out so if i hit saved it works so yeah i must have saved the other file okay so it will work so let's let's make it go back to false okay okay so i'm going to go back now to the things to do js file and we're going to try to um, cut down the code and make it a little bit uh, less code to write and it's also going to give us the opportunity to add more easily add more styling so we're going to use ternary um, style uh, instead of the, the if and else okay so I'm going to get rid of everything inside these purple braces All right, so we're going to say return and we're going to do our little curly braces and we're going to say text decoration, camel case, text de decoration equals the, it's not really equals, but this dot props dot list dot finished. And then this little question mark tells us that um, it's like the if statement, you know, it's, it says if text direct decoration is finished, then we're going to say line through and is none. And so then we're going to put our colon, colon is else. It's the same as else, and then we're going to say none. Okay. And that is a lot less code. So if I hit save, it should be the same. Okay, so it worked. And then we're going to be able to add some other styling too, um, and it'll just be a little bit cleaner. Okay. Well, let's add a little bit more styling to this while we are here. So I'm going to do background, um, let's see, background, let's do that gray again. I, I don't know, should I spell it with an E or an, or a y, or an A? I think I'm, an E is, is what I've been doing. Okay, comma. Let's do some padding. And we're going to make it five pixels. Comma. And let's do, let's make a line underneath it so that they're separate. So border bottom, got to do that camel case thing whenever you have more than one word. And so let's see, let's make it two pixels wide. Let's make it black and let's make it solid. Okay. And then we got our text decoration. So everything else looks pretty good. Comma. All right, save. Okay, so we have our separate um, things to do. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create some check boxes where we can check off um, what when we've finished something. So we're going to go into our, we're still in our things to do JS file and we're going to go in the render. So where it's, where it's showing up and let's go ahead right before the props.list.title and let's put, um, put a checkbox an input. So we're going to put, um, Input, so it's just like a regular input tag, you know. Type equals, we're going to make it a checkbox. 
and let's see and we're also going to make it do something so on change so when it's so we have to do that too on change equals and then we're going to say um, in the parenthesis in the curly braces this dot props so we're going to be getting the props so that we can pass it up this dot props dot on complete um and that's it and then we're just gonna close it close the tags okay so let's get that check so let's get the checkbox to work so save i mean to get it to show up okay so we've got our check boxes okay and then we need to do an on complete an on complete uh method or function so we're not going to do it in here we're going to do it up in the next level so if you remember this is the individual things to do which is in a container called to do's so we're going to go to to do's and then we're going to add it to the render so in our in our render we're going to say um we're going to go right after all this. We're going to say on complete, on complete equals curly braces this dot on complete. And then, and then we just close the brace. Okay. And then we're going to save. So now we can check mark different things and uncheck it. Okay. All right. So our next video, this one's kind of getting along, so we're going to have to take a break. So in our next video, we're going to continue adding some functionality. We're going to add a delete button, a um, couple more methods that we have to use to do all of our functioning. And, and we're going to add a submit button and we're getting close. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.